Despite all that we've learned following the February freeze that left millions of Texans without heat for days, the power grid could still suffer outages if there were another major winter storm. So that's coming from the latest report from ERCOT, which, by the way, says that weather doesn't have to be as bad as it was in February for us to possibly see a problem here. So we have energy analyst Joe Bertel with us this morning. Joe, I know you follow this so closely and you understand all the you know lingo from what you've seen in the last several months. Do you feel confident that we're in a better position to deal with a weather issue or are we worse off actually with some of the loopholes that are in place? We're, we're certainly not better off. I mean, look, uh, good morning. Always great to be with you guys. So, you know, here's what uh, what FERC said, the Federal Energy Re Regulatory Commission. They basically came back to the state of Texas and said, hey, guys, you still haven't fixed the problem. The actual catalyst for the February event that we all suffered through was the failure of uh, natural gas generation mm -hmm. assets, which the legislation passed by uh, passed in Austin uh, as a response to the February event did nothing to address. Uh, further, while the legislature did require some uh, generation assets to winterize, they didn't really put a timeline on it. And mm -hmm. so, you know, long story short, lingo aside, what essentially happened is we had a failure of the uh, mechanism that actually generates and delivers the electricity. And what we've done, uh, what we've done is say, hey, at some point you need to fix that problem. It's akin to we have a flat tire and we keep saying at some point we're going to fix that tire, but we're going to keep driving the car as though nothing has happened in the meantime. OK, so the weatherization plan has to be submitted next week, but but no word yet on you know when those improvements are going to be made. Are there any warning signs, uh, Joe, that we can you know look to that? You know, maybe there's going to be another failure. Yeah, and, and in fact, Lena, it's very interesting. Uh, there is a uh, there's a another report out just this week from a sister organization to FERC, the North American Reliability Corporation, uh, said that, hey, nationwide, there, we may be looking at mm -hmm. a electricity shortage across the country if there's a serious winter storm. And remember that we don't necessarily need for the entire winter to be bad. Uh, it, it may be that there is just one cold snap, the way we had this past February, uh, and, you know, it, within this report, NERC also isolated Texas and, and ERCOT as a place where a cold snap may hit the hardest. So we're not only not out of the woods, but we haven't taken the active measures that every uh, federal regulatory agency has recommended we take. OK, so a lot of recommendations on what to do. We just need to get it done. Thank you, Joe. It's always yep. good to see you. Thanks for breaking it down in layman's terms. Of course. Terms. Happy Thanksgiving yeah. to y'all. Happy you Thanksgiving. Too.